we have this part of um, different interconnected regions of our brain called the default mode network. And small amounts of psychedelics can dampen this. Large amounts of psychedelics can briefly take it entirely offline. And I talked about my experience of dying and being reborn. Mm. This is what we refer to as the ego death. And in the ego death, it can be very, can create a lot of anxiety for people who mm. have a fear of dying. However, when we build it into a part of our practice, be it through meditation or breath work or prayer even, of learning to die, learning to face our mortality, it shows us how we can show up and live in integrity with what our soul, with what source, with what God is calling us towards in our life. And there's so much power in that because it acknowledges that we in this physical form exist within the limitations of our body and within the limitations of the scope of this, this incarnation, this life. And we, in that limited period of time, can either choose to feel fear in that this is a limitation, or we can feel the motivation of how can I maximize the time that I have here to share with the world my authenticity, who I am. And it's really when we learn to clear what it is that is standing in between us and this ideal that we can then learn to amplify and to create and to be in integrity and to build community around all of these things with the acknowledgement that yes, we're going to die. It's painful to acknowledge. And when we feel the resistance to that and work to avoid it, like, you know, the, the possibility of uploading our consciousness to the cloud, like that is not living. That is not, that is going, whatever that is. I don't even, I don't know.